All right, I'm gonna make this a quick one. A few months ago, we made a video called A Viral Appeal to Adventists, which was basically an appeal for us to recognize that we have a special calling in regards to our health message as it relates to the pandemic. And now I'm here on Sabbath morning, November 6th, and I've been up since four o'clock this morning, impressed to post this video today. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to call this one 4 a.m. wake up call. Anyway, we just posted our video to our Valid Reason channel yesterday entitled, Are You Still Vaccinated? And I wanted to share it on this channel as well. But before I do, I want to share two quotes from an article that I came across yesterday. This is from Nature Magazine talking about the recent COVID surge in the UK. The article is entitled, Why Scientists Worldwide Are Watching UK COVID Infections. The subheading says, the country's relaxation of measures such as masking, especially in England, is showing the limits of relying on vaccines alone. Basically, England, one of the highest vaccinated countries, is experiencing an increase in hospitalizations and death, and people are watching them closely. The article goes on to say, the surge in infections shows that vaccines alone cannot contain the virus. I want to repeat that, vaccines alone cannot contain the virus. And also, that vaccine effectiveness against infection, hospitalization, and death fell considerably after six months, particularly in older people. A UK-based study has found. A separate study in Israel, another country that deployed vaccines early, found similar results. People in the world are recognizing that vaccines can't fix everything, and I hope that this will be our 4 a.m. wake-up call to see this as well. In the video you're about to see, you'll find out why people are calling for more to be done and what we need to be doing. If you're blessed by the video, then be a digital evangelist and share it, forward it, email it, use carrier pigeons, whatever, because people need to know this. And remember to subscribe to this channel and the Valid Reason channel so that you don't miss any updates. And remember, the Valid Reason channel is for people of other faiths and non-faiths, so everything on that channel you can freely share with others. All right, now it's time to answer the question, are you still vaccinated? With the recent death of Colin Powell came the usual polarized reaction to the topic of the year, it would seem, that being the efficacy of vaccines. Shortly after the announcement of his death, Fox News reporter John Roberts tweeted and then deleted a tweet that called vaccine efficacy into question. In this tweet, he said, the fact that Colin Powell died from breakthrough COVID infection raises new concerns about how effective vaccines are long-term. This was quickly followed up by several news outlets calling out so-called anti-vaxxers for spreading misinformation. You know, the usual stuff that keeps being argued. This debate really became a thing back in July of 2021, when there was a COVID outbreak in Massachusetts that saw almost 75% of the infected being vaccinated. From that moment, the topic of the efficacy of vaccines has been hotly contested by those for and against vaccination. Based on most of the data that's been released so far, it looks like vaccines are effective at preventing severe illness. But there's a catch. It's looking like the high efficacy only lasts two to six months. And usually that efficacy depends on how healthy you are. So the question that really needs to be asked is not are you vaccinated, but are you still vaccinated? This question needs to be asked because based on more and more data that's coming out, your overall health is directly related to the quality of the immune system response from the COVID-19 vaccines. In a recent study from Japan that took a look at obesity and body mass index related to vaccine effectiveness, it was observed that people who are overweight have lower levels of spike antibodies from COVID vaccinations. This, in addition to the studies on vaccine effectiveness for immunocompromised people, indicates that it's important for you to be as healthy as possible to be safe from COVID, whether you're vaccinated or not. The waning efficacy of vaccines is something that is becoming more and more of a concern and has driven countries around the world to try to respond. You see it in Singapore that had one of the highest vaccination rates in the world and then started experiencing its highest infection rates since the pandemic began. You can see it in the UK that also had one of the highest vaccination rates in the world and then started getting overwhelmed with huge outbreaks of infections. And this reality is evident from the October 28th report from the United Kingdom's COVID-19 surveillance website. Basically, it shows that out of 8,338 people that had to be hospitalized for COVID-19, 28% of the people were unvaccinated and about 66% 
were fully vaccinated. What's even more stunning is that out of those hospitalizations, 88% of the deaths were in vaccinated people. The report made it a point to highlight that this should be expected in a highly vaccinated nation. However, the UK currently has around 68% of the population fully vaccinated. So, even when accounting for that, the numbers are telling us what we already know. Vaccine efficacy is waning rapidly. And how about this recent study, also coming out of the UK, that shows little difference between vaccinated people and unvaccinated when it comes to spreading COVID-19. This article states that peak viral load did not differ by vaccination status or variant type. Basically, it's once again highlighting what most of us already know, that the vaccinated can carry the same viral load as the unvaccinated. Now, if this is true, then I have some important questions to ask. If the vaccine is so weak at stopping the spread of COVID-19, then what is the valid reason for why hundreds of millions of people in the United States and around the world are being mandated to take the vaccines? As we saw in our previous video, Tough Noogies, why did this woman have to die after being mandated to take the vaccine? In this recent study published on October 14th, entitled Breakthrough SARS-CoV-2 Infections in 620,000 U.S. Veterans, it showed that between March of 2021 and August of 2021, that vaccine efficacy had declined from 92% to 64% for the Moderna vaccine, 91% to 50% for the Pfizer vaccine, and a stunning 88% to 3% for the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. You heard that right, 3%. The revelation caused the authors of the study to state, and I quote, vaccines should be accompanied by additional measures, including masking, hand washing, physical distancing, and other public health interventions. And as we have already highlighted in the Health Demic series, the public health intervention that needs to take place is a nationwide education campaign to deal with the health demic of pre-existing conditions that is plaguing the country. Obesity, heart disease, diabetes, and so many treatable conditions have been the source of so many negative COVID-19 outcomes, and the silence on this fact has been deafening. It should be clear by now that putting all of your COVID eggs in the vaccine basket is just not enough. You can do more to lower your risk for severe COVID-19 outcomes by following the eight laws of health that we highlighted in episode two of Health Demic. As time goes on, it is becoming more and more evident that this pandemic did not have to be so severe, particularly here in the United States, as the majority of the negative outcomes before and after vaccines became available are directly related to the lifestyle diseases that continue to fuel the COVID fire. And for whatever reason, there are so many that refuse to acknowledge this reality. It's becoming more and more evident that we need to start taking charge of our health because the solutions that we're being offered are temporary at best. It will be interesting to see how long the immune responses last for the COVID-19 booster shots. As much like Israel, the United States is already discussing a fourth shot for people who are immunocompromised. For the most part, what we hear on the news is the percentage of people that are vaccinated. And based on the trends in this pandemic, the United States has usually followed behind the UK and Israel in the waves of COVID infections. And if these trends hold true, then we can expect that the fully vaccinated in the United States will start experiencing higher rates of hospitalization very soon. Booster shots may provide a short-term solution, but nobody really knows for how long, as we all have to wait for this to play out and for more data to come in. But in the meantime, while everyone is waiting for boosters and wondering whether or not they're still vaccinated, we can start following the eight laws of health today that as we've already seen in Health Demic, will provide you a high level of efficacy against all diseases. Check the description below to find links to the Health Demic series so that you can get educated on the eight laws of health and subscribe to get updates on upcoming videos. The efficacy of a healthy lifestyle has been pretty consistent throughout this pandemic. And so you just need to decide if you'll give this healthy lifestyle a shot, pun intended.